Welcome to the most reliable place for news, rumors, all things fitness, CrossFit, health, anything. Anything that tickles uh, my fancy. We'll start the show off today. Andrew Hiller showing us that he is strong. That the CA peptides are working combined with the CrossFit methodology, rocking the CEO shirt. Uh, Andrew shows off a 605 deadlift. Looks like he almost uh, passed out. Andrew's also got some new videos up where he's uh, training and doing things with Athena. Or I don't know if they're up yet, but I know she spent a couple days out at the Hiller Fit Empire. And we'll be getting to see that uh, footage uh, very soon. Uh, Kelly Osborne. Uh, poster child for uh, the mentally ill speaks up to those who aren't a fan of Ozempic. Kelly Osborne thinks you hate it because you secretly use it or you can't afford it. While chatting with E News, Kelly voiced her opinion on the hate surrounding those who use Ozempic. If they aren't diabetic, she really had some thoughts. First off, she doesn't want to lose weight the boring way by working out. Secondly, Kelly is not here for the Ozempic shamers and isn't afraid to call them out. The people who hate on it are most are the are most are the people who are secretly doing it or pissed off that they can't afford it. She told the outlet. Wow. The purple hair never lies. Whether you're on Ozempic or not or whatever you're doing to not be working out is uh, an absolute joke to not be maximizing your potential physically as a human being is a missed opportunity. And uh, that's where the judgment uh, deserves to be uh, put. Uh, Dave Castro teaching gun safety to a youth, an affiliate owner's son. A bunch of people came up to the ranch this past week and uh, this young competition. Oh. Wow, there we go. Oh. 290. Oh, work. <laughs> oh, you get, nice you get two work. more runs just like that. Wow. Dave teaching America's youth about gun safety and guns one student at a time. Also in the news, there's never enough of uh, Dave Castro, correct? He's got this really cool video out. These belts uh, sold as fast, if not faster, than the Trump shoe. Uh, you can go on Dave's uh, Instagram account, TDC Hunts. He has this leather hide. I wonder, has he talked about the origins of that leather hide, where he got it from? I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell that story. Someone ask him about that. It's a cool story. Uh, Dave is a, uh, has, as long as I've known Dave, he's been into sewing. Um, this, he's sewed me several things. He sewed me a bag for my motorcycle. He sewed me uh, an iPad or a iPod a holder. He's sewn my kids a bunch of like things for school, like little backpacks, pencil carriers. Uh, very generous with his sewing skills. Got a cool sewing room. Maybe Dave does that for his mental health. Those belts were available on TDC Mercantile alongside the olive oil, and they sold out. Uh, fast. And there's never enough of Andrew Hiller, a uh, proponent of peptide use. This is the question that everybody wants to know. How do you use peptides? When you go to capeptides.com and you order them, you're going to have questions. How do you use them? This is the video you want to see. You don't need to ask any, anyone anymore. Maybe he should pin this on his Instagram account just right at the top. Go to capeptides.com, use password, code word Hiller or Sevon, and uh, from there, um, check out this video. Very, very, very simple process, but an important process that it's done uh, correctly. But so many people have those uh, that question. It's the most common question uh, we get. And I'm not just saying that. It's not one person or 10 people. That's the one everyone wants. Job opportunity, CrossFit UK country manager. Uh, that position is open. I do believe it was Carl Stedman who had that position. I only have one recommendation to CrossFit. Just get rid of that position altogether and do something directly for the affiliates, like so hire someone who can actually do something like make uh, media. So uh, the barbell spin, always adding value Yesterday or the day before, we talked about the great video he pulled of Laura Horvat doing Olympic lifts. He also has the most prestigious and accurate and 
relevant ranking in the CrossFit space. TheBarbellSpin.com, Ricky Garrard, Tia Claire Toomey, or ranked number one in the Spin Top 25 media poll. The big brains in the community think these two are the best. We've anointed them the best CrossFitters in the space. To see the entire list and see who voted for who and how and why and maybe just where is more accurate. Go to the Barbell Spin, go to the Instagram account, or go to his website you can get that. That's a classic junk food for the CrossFit fan. I told you that Disneyland is a place for carbohydrate addicts, that that's what it is. It's a safe space for drug addicts. It's a safe space for people who want to gorge on carbohydrates. That is really all it is. It's a front. It's no longer even an amusement park. And here we go. I'm dying to eat at Crystal Palace at Disney World's Magic Kingdom, but you weren't sure if you'd fit. Hey everyone, we're plus size park hoppers, and we range in sizes from 2x to 5x. Make sure you like this video and follow us for more plus size Disney tips and tricks. On this episode of If I Fit, Size Sits, we dine with Pooh and friends at Crystal Palace. This is a buffet style restaurant where you can meet Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. You can eat Pooh? You can eat Pooh? Is that what she said? This restaurant does not feature any full booths, but it does feature tables and half booths. The tables are all very close together, but the chairs slide very easily, which makes it easy to get up and take pictures with the characters. The star of this show were the Mickey Churro Waffles. They were incredible. It is truly an unbelievable sight of gorging and sugar addiction at Disneyland. And that's what it is. And if you're not addicted to sugar and you go there, you will be in a setting with... Uh, rides that are tired and old from the 70s, but very clean, surrounded by people who are uh, carbohydrate addicts. It, it, and, and they're safe there. They're just propped up and leaning against walls and, and, and stuffing their face everywhere. And I say that with uh, no judgment. Peace and love. Rumors are coming that the morning chalk up is officially dead. Toast. It's been absorbed by um, Barbell Bend. Uh, an organization that's no better than the morning chalk up themselves. Guy, I think it's the editor over there. Guy runs over there. Is a, uh, I have nothing nice to say about him either. Uh, but it looks like they purchased the bar, uh, the morning chalk up. Uh, that was previously owned by Justin LaFranco. It had some of our favorites in the community. Lauren Khalil, Patrick Clark, Brian Friend, Tommy Marquez uh, working there. I can't find anything written about it, but I'm hearing rumors that it is officially toast, that it's somehow been completely absorbed, that at some point you're going to type in uh, morningchalkup.com and it's going to send you over to the uh, to that other weak-ass rag. So there's that. And that is sad. It is sad. Everyone has that weird uncle. The morning chalkup was that weird uncle, and it's a shame um, that he's died, that he's dead. No, no one wanted him to die. Who are we going to talk about? Uh, Paper Street Coffee has a very limited run of a Colton Mertens single origin coffee, whatever that means. And it comes with a t-shirt. A one of a kind or maybe 100 of a kind t-shirt. So go over to paperstreetcoffee.com. I, I, I would try to use the code word Sevon, see if you can get a discount. But uh, I don't even know if this is available. It was available this morning. But the run uh, of supplies is going to be very short. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the Trump shoe was released. I don't know if anyone's going to be doing CrossFit in it. Donald Trump Jr. is a CrossFitter. The ex-Prez looks like he could use some CrossFit, that's for sure. Uh, those shoes, I think, were selling for three hundred ninety-nine dollars. A thousand pair were made. They ran out of shoes very quickly, and now you can find them on eBay for nine thousand dollars. And that is the reliable Savon Podcast CrossFit news. Love you guys.